But here we have very late 2008. In fact, it was only a week off being a 2009. It was registered at the end of December in 2008. This is the 1.4 partner with the Horizon wheelchair ramp conversion. An exceptionally nice example. It's not a mark, a scratch, a dent on it anywhere. The only damage I can find on the whole of the vehicle, wait for it, been a bit silly and pedantic, tiny little chip out of the wheel trim. That's just a wheel trim, get a new wheel trim off Peugeot for about £20 that fussed and that's about it as I say there's no marks trolley dents damage scratches it's beautiful it's only covered 22,000 miles no mobility service history last service to 18,000 miles with fully synthetic oil there are 20,000 mile interval leads so you've got nothing to worry about until 38,000 miles so you're a long way off that Everything's nice, no rips or tears. Starts on the button as you would expect, all the lights extinguish. That's just the seatbelt light. You've got the remote audio stereo controls there. You've got passenger electric mirror, the driver's mirror you can just manually adjust there, electric windows, radio CD player, air conditioning. Right, let's have a look under the bonnet. We'll have a quick look at the paperwork first. So it was registered on the 18th of December 2008. No former keepers, just the one owner. The Richmond Fellowship in Scotland. We've got both the last two MOTs. MOT history there. It's MOT'd until October the 20th, 2014. It sailed right through, of course, with no advisories. Same with the last MOT. And here we have it, serviced at 10,000, checked over at 11,000, 14,000, always by Arnold Clark Perjo. A routine inspection by Motability at 17,000, MOT at 18,000, and then a full service at 18,749, so just 3,500 miles ago. Routine check over at 19, MOT at 20,000. Dial belt not working, lap, ah, lap belt, so it must have had a new rear lap belt fitted. Just September, just gone. Let's have a look under the bonnet. Expect for a late low mileage car, nice and clean, nothing to report. As this is the Horizon conversion, it has five full seats, which is a brilliant conversion. It also has the cubby holes in the floor, the electric winch motor, which I'll demonstrate. And all you do, it's so easy to the seats down on this just one button I can do it with one hand while holding the camera over it pops and just lifts up we'll go around to the other side and pop the other side over just one button there one hand on the camera very easy and off you go this is one of the best conversions around because it still keeps the full five seats the two separate rear seats 
There are just two bolts either side and they can be easily removed if you want the extra couple of inches. But I've never known anyone to need it. And again, on the ramp all we do is just press the button here. That releases it. You can easily do that with one hand. There you have it. It's got the full electric winch. on your wheelchair or golf buggy. I've sold a load of these to golf people. There it goes. Clips on there. You've got two seat belt anchorages for either corner there. Two more that lock in these slats. And you've also got the full seat belt for the rear passenger as well as being strapped in the wheelchair. Two walls of jack in there. To reverse it's very straightforward one hand there just bend it down and just clip it into place a very popular conversion as I say with having the five seats in the back a lot of these remove one seat so you're just left with one dummy seat but the problem is then then you you fix to only a couple of people going out a lot of people buy these for multi-purposes and they have a good resale value. As I say, lots of golf people buy these, disabled people, people who want them as a separate car. There's a load of luggage about. All in all, a very fine example. Delivered anywhere, free of charge, and you only have to pay after demonstration, and you've seen it and test drove it. Hassle free purchase.